Hi there, students. Leviathan. A leviathan. A countable noun. Nowadays, we use a leviathan for something that's really big and really powerful. So, I don't know, the uh, leviathan of Russia uh, fighting against the Ukraine. Uh, the leviathan of massive unemployment could cause uh, massive economic problems. We are going to have to deal with the leviathan of global warming. OK, so a leviathan is someone or something that's extremely large and extremely powerful. And maybe you're a bit afraid of it as well. Yeah? Um, let's see, a juggernaut, you could also call a juggernaut a leviathan. Yeah, this vehicle is a leviathan. Have you seen these enormous 40-ton trucks? Yeah, it's, uh, they are leviathans. Okay, particularly, as well, a very big organisation. So the uh, leviathan of the uh, European Union. The Leviathan oil companies, yeah, they're extremely big and extremely powerful. Yeah, it's something that's difficult to control and you find rather frightening. Yeah, um, yes, the, uh, uh, the certainly this uh, tiny COVID virus seems to have been a Leviathan that. Uh, has been very difficult to control. Although it's very, very small, it's had massive effects. OK, originally, Leviathan was a sea monster, yeah? A monster from the deep, like Tiamat. Um, the, it was uh, a sea monster or a sea serpent. So, um, I think in the story about Jonah and the whale, I think the whale might have been described as a leviathan, yeah? It might have been Tiamat, who was killed by Marduk, by the way. Um, so, leviathan, it's this huge sea serpent, yeah, that, uh, that um, eats people. I think in mythology as well, perhaps... Uh, uh, as you go into hell, uh, you go through the mouth of Leviathan into hell. And that, that may be it. So, a Leviathan, a monstrous, mighty sea creature. Yeah, I believe uh, Leviathan was also the uh, female partner of uh, Behemoth. Well, we'll see. But nowadays, all that uh, um, mythology is... I think, to one side. A leviathan, something very large and very um, powerful. Yeah, this is a problem of leviathan proportions. There you go, leviathan as an adjective. Yeah, it's enormous, it's massive. Yeah, um, it's uh, absolutely enormous, it's mammoth. Yeah, um, Ha, yes, the full Oxford English Dictionary is a leviathan of a book. It's a colossus. It's mammoth. It's enormous. OK, so ha, something that's leviathan is very large and very difficult to control or a monstrous sea creature. Yeah, but nowadays anything of immense size and power. Yeah, have you seen these Leviathan cruise ships? Yeah, or these Leviathan tractors that they use to cut down the, the Amazon, Amazonic rainforest? Yeah, um, the Leviathan of the banking sector uh, really does more or less what it wants. Okay, so Leviathan. Formality. I think I'm going to give it a 6.5 in formality. I think n nearly everybody, nearly all native speakers would know that Leviathan refers to something very, very large. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, 6.5 in, in formality. 
Could you use it in an informal conversation? I'd probably say ginormous or gigantic or something like that. Um, I think probably better for a semi-formal conversation or a writing is a very good word for an exam essay. Maybe a touch literary, but it's, uh, well, it smacks of uh, uh, cla classical times as well. And then as to origin, well, in English it comes from the Latin word leviathan, which is the same meaning, which itself is a transliteration of the Hebrew word leviathan. I would be uh, interested to get more information about this. And so uh, I know there are people out there who would know a lot more than me, so please do comment. OK, so a Leviathan, something that's enormous and very powerful. Yeah, the Leviathan of China has uh, t it has taken over, taken control of the world economy. So enough Leviathan. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Leviathan.